I ate them. I ate the divorce papers, Charles. I ate them with ketchup and they were good. <laughs> good. <laughs> you probably want me to get serious about the divorce. Only the thing is, Charles, is you've always called our marriage a joke. So let's use some logic here. If A, we've never had a serious marriage, then B, we can't have a serious divorce. No, we can't. The whole thing's a farce, Charles, a farce that tastes good with ketchup. <laughs> I mean, wasn't it just last week that your dad asked why you walked down the aisle with me and you said, <laughs> you said, for the exercise. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> You're a funny guy, Charles. <laughs> I'm laughing. I'm not crying. I'm laughing because you're about to give up on a woman who is infinitely lovable. <laughs> Take Paul, for instance. He has loved me since year eight. I'm sure he's a little bit creepy, but he really loves me. He sent me over 200 original love sonnets. He sees something in me, Charles, and he writes it down in metered verse. <sighs> I mean, it's not every day you find someone like that, is it? Someone who loves everything about who you are as a person. I would never ask him to sign a piece of paper promising him to turn off his feelings for me forever. But that's what you're asking me to do for you. The truth is, the truth is, Charles, is I ate them. I ate the divorce papers because I can't stomach the thought of losing you.